obviously a small community. What happens when up to 50 people in one community are directly impacted? What about the ripple effects of all those people that you met over the weekend? Well, if you, if you do the math, um, you know, 60 people would be 1% of the 6,000 people population, and that is just completely devastating to them. Everyone knows someone who is missing, and the town is just completely devastated right now by this loss. Sophie Tremblay has been out gauging reaction today, and Sophie, there's mixed reaction so far. Deborah, I can tell you these plastic bags are quite the divisive issue. Now, stores like this Depanneur behind me give out dozens of plastic bags every day. And many people, including the owner of the Depanneur, say they recognize the environmental benefit of reducing uh, plastic bags, but they say an outright ban may be going too far. Longueuil police say they've received 90 tips since Lee went missing but nothing that indicates a crime was committed. Since the, the 30th of April, it's still a disappearance case, uh, but things could change. One of those tips led police to dig up Lee's backyard, but they didn't find any evidence linked to the disappearance. The brother and sister meet with police every week, but the more time passes, the more they lose hope. <laughs> The ship itself is registered in Panama, but the captain here says that it's managed by a Canadian company. When reached, the owner of that company says he has nothing to do with the Phoenix Sun. The president of the company later called back and changed his story. He says he is the crew's employer, but denies that they haven't been paid or fed. At this La Salle gym, there was one name on everybody's lips. Most of these kids have never been to an NBA game, so this moment was a big deal. Organizers behind Owned Watch hope the campaign will help women reappropriate public spaces in the city. They've even made the posters available online, hoping other women will take up the cause. Sophie Tromley, CBC News, Montreal.